In this session, we will take a look at some of the basic properties of average. So far, we have already seen how to calculate the basic average. Now, let's look at the properties. So if an average of a few numbers is A, and if all the numbers are increased by K, then the new average is equal to A plus K. At an engineering college, the average age of all teachers was 30 years. And if no teacher either joins or leaves the company, then what will be the average age of all the teachers after four years? Obviously, since every teacher is four years older, each number increases by four. And by the above property, the average also should increase by four. So age of teachers after four years must be the current average 30 plus four that is equal to 34 years. Similarly, if the average of a few numbers is A and if all numbers decrease by K, then the new average is equal to A minus K. So let us look at a simple example. At an engineering college, the average age of all teachers was 30 years. If no teacher has either joined or left the college in the last four years, then what was the average age of all teachers four years ago? So the age of each teacher was less by four years. Therefore, the age of teachers four years before, average age of teachers four years before must be current average minus four years, that is 26 years. So these were two very simple properties of average. So another important property is average of a group of numbers lies between the largest and the smallest of the given group of numbers. For example, if there are numbers 24, 31, 47, 61, 88, 106, 118 and 213, then you should know that average can never be less than the least of these numbers that is 24 and the average can never be greater than the largest of these numbers that is 213. So average must lie between the range 24 to 213. What about average of numbers in arithmetic series? So if the number of terms in an arithmetic series is odd, then the average is just the middle term. Just identify the middle term and you will be able to answer what is the average. If the number of terms in a series is even, then the average is equal to average of the two middle terms. Let's take a look at an example. Find the average of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on till 31. So effectively we have to find out the average of the first 31 natural numbers. So what is the solution? Is this an arithmetic series? Yes, this is an arithmetic series because each number is one more than the previous number. So there is a constant difference between any two set of numbers and in this series we have an odd number of numbers so there are 31 numbers which is an odd number so according to our previous discussion the average of these odd number of numbers in a series must be equal to the middle term so what is the middle term the middle term must be 31 plus 1 divided by 2 that is the 16th term and the 16th term in this case is equal to 16. We can also find the average of a group of numbers in series as the average of the first and the last number of the series. In this case, the first number is 1 and the last number is 31. So if you find the average of 1 and 31, you will still get the answer as 16. Let us look at another example. Find the average of the numbers 3, 7, 11, 15, 19 and so on till 71. So what is the solution here? In this case the number of terms is 18 and obviously this is an even number of terms. Since this is an even number of terms, the average must be the average of the two middle terms that is the 9th and the 10th term. So if you calculate the 9th term, you will get 35. If you go on continuing 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, the ninth term will be 35 and the 10th term will be 39. 
what is the average the average is equal to the sum of two middle terms that is 35 plus 39 divided by 2 that is equal to 37 as i told you earlier the average can also be calculated as the sum uh, sorry as the average of the first and the last term so what is the first term here 33 and what is the last term 71 so average of 3 and 71 is also equal to 37 so whenever numbers are written in a series the average of numbers in a series can always be calculated as the average of the first and the last number of the series so with this we come to an end of this session where we saw a few basic properties of average in case you have any feedback or in case you have any query please write in to us at studentservices at pfindia.com thank you very much